Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are going to be playing Hungry Lamu. Now, this is a game that a lot of you have been asking me to play. I've actually been away on holiday for the past week, so I haven't been able to play any of the newer games, but I will be catching up on them starting today. So this is the first of the games that I've missed out on in the past week. It's called Hungry Lamu. It's about a very hungry llama, and I believe it kind of has a sort of happy tree friends type vibe, where it starts off very cute and friendly, and it actually becomes something quite dark and sinister. I'm thinking it might also be a little bit like Bonnie's Bakery. That's another game kind of like this we played recently, where it had a kind of cartoony art style, but it became something very dark once we got into it. But with that said guys, let's check out Hungry Llama today, let's see what this game's all about, and yeah, see how hungry this llama actually is. Gotta say, I'm actually a fan of llamas. Oh, look at him. Narrator, he says, hello Lamu. So the llama's called Lamu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Okay. So Lama, or Lamu I should say, is a Lama who is quite hungry, has an insatiable appetite. Hey, we're outside. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Okay, objective, eat free cherries. So... Well, these are berries, right? Or do these count as cherries? No, these are cherries, okay. Look more like berries to me, but I guess what's the difference, right? There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Okay, so we've got to keep circling around the same area for cherries. Like, I don't really know much about this game, I'll be honest, guys, but I've seen a lot of comments, people are asking me to play it, so we're playing it. We're eating cherries as a llama. It's all very strange to me. But I like the art style, it's very kind of cute. <laughs> Yum, weren't these cherries delicious? But Llama is still hungry, or Lamu, I keep saying Llama. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a banana dog. <laughs> well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. You sure? I'm sure he doesn't want to be eaten, right? The narrator goes on to say, let's go meet this banana, Lamu. And by meat, we also mean greet and eat. Objective, eat the banana. It's kind of like a sausage dog, isn't it? Like a little um, dash hound or something. Hello, little banana. Grr, he says. Bark, bark. Oh dear, looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. Bark, bark, bark. We all need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. Right, it's already getting a little bit sinister. Put him to sleep so we can eat him. Need something hard. Wait, do we mean just like crush him with a rock? Oh, there's an axe over here. Maybe we can use this. No, the banana won't let Lamu pass. Okay, no worries. Let's try and find something hard then. Like, I'm guessing a stone, maybe. Oh, there's a rock here, look. Take rock, F. There we go. Take it in the mouth, and hit banana. Oh, that's really sad. We killed it. What a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. I'm not so sure about that. Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Oh, what's that, Lamu? Look, it's like a family of, they look like kind of the characters from Cuphead, or a bit like Andy's apple farm, actually. It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. Looks like they're on a camping trip, doesn't it? Their fruit should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Right. Should we drop the rock now? Go and say hello without the rock, maybe? We come in peace, little fruit friends. Oh, they seem to be kind of scared. Or maybe they're just playing hide and seek with us. Looks like they want to play a game. Just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past, how fun. Come on, Lamu, let's find our new friends so we can have some of their delicious fruits. <laughs> so we can basically cannibalize them, we can basically eat them. Take the bee nest. Do I want to take the bee nest? I guess. Oh, look, there's one behind there. Can we use the bee nest? I just put the bee nest on the tree. Well, we found that one. Needs something sharp. So we need something sharp to get that one out of a tree. Oh, maybe the axe we saw earlier. 
And then we've got, oh, we've got a fire here. Take the stick, a flaming branch. We're gonna set fire to one of them. Oh, there's one under the rock. Needs something stinging. Ah, that's what we need the bee for. So maybe we use the flaming branch over here on this one. Let's have a look. This is kind of a sadistic game. <laughs> I'll say that much. All right, take stick, no. Take bee nest, yes. I'm gonna take the bee nest first, guys. We'll go over and use it on this rock. Where one's hiding in the rock over here. Here he is. Throw the bees. Hey, we found him. The apple says, ouch, the bees stung me everywhere. Looks like I've got to be careful next time. Nice, clever little joke from the apple there. Have my apple. You bee deserved it. Great. Oh, okay. Wow, we just ate his head right off his body. Right, well, let's drop that for now. Now, also, there was an axe up here, right? So we need to find the axe to get the other one out of the tree, I think. It says something sharp. So if we use the axe and we head over to the tree down here. Let's see if this works. Will it work? Swing the axe, yes. Nice. I like how it kind of looks like a flash animation game. Orange says, whoa, what a high fall. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Have mine, and maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree too. Okay, let's eat the orange. Again, we just ate the head off the body. And then finally, let's take the stick. Can we use the stick on this character here? No. Let me drop the stick again then. What about if we head over here? Is the one hiding over here somewhere? Yeah, there's one in the bush there. Ah, he needs something hot. So that's weird. So there is one hiding down here by the tree, but it's not actually one of the ones we have to find. So let's just take the stick, the flaming stick, and let's head back over here and use it on the final one hiding in this bush. Light the bush on fire. Wow, that's very dangerous. Let's talk to the pair. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh, geez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you like burned pear because I'm all yours. And there we go. Yum, yum, yum. Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day! Playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvellous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Oh. What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? Oh no. Oh, okay. So, this is just like Bonnie's Bakery then, because we're actually in a 3D area now, just like in that game. So we're playing as maybe the guy hiding behind the tree, I think. That guy that we uh, saw before. He says, what the hell? Sounded like Tasha. Ugh, I told him not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Find the campsite. Yeah, so we were hiding behind that tree. Look at that. We're the person that was hiding behind this tree. We've got a run key, but we have limited stamina. We have to stand still to get our run back. And we need to find the campsite, which I think should be over here, if I'm to remember correctly. If the map is the same in 3D as it was in 2D. Yeah, look, here is the campsite. Man, that means the llamas are going to be out to get us, though. Which is kind of freaky. Okay, campsite found. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Whistles. Mochi, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. All right, we find Mochi or Moki. Is it Moki? It might be Moki, I don't know. Mochi, Moki, who cares? We've got to find her. So that's the dog. I don't think she would run off this way. Well, how do you know? There's no way you could know what way she would run off. Is it this way? That llama is going to be out here, I bet, trying to get us, and it's not going to be so happy as it was in the sort of cartoony version we were just playing. This is where the jump scares come out and I scream. I've literally just got back from vacation today and I'm playing this game. It's not a good start. <laughs> Look at- oh no, is that a dog? It's actually been ripped open, what the heck? Mo Moki? Who did this? 
poor girl. Whichever of you assholes did this, this is effed up. I'm not gonna use all the expletives in the video, guys. You can uh, you can read that. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the hell are you guys? Guys, we gotta find our three friends and have a dog. Mochi has been killed. Probably by the llama. I assume it's eaten him. Or her, I should say. What the heck was that noise? Man, I can actually hear him moving about. So our three friends, if they're going to be in the same place on the map as where we killed them, I would assume some of them are over here. This is freaky. Like, how fast can the llama, you know, chase up, like, run up on us? That's what I want to know. How fast can that llama, like, kind of chase us down? I just heard something. Guys, we'll keep moving this way, okay? We don't need to run yet. I'm checking the perimeter. I feel like this is one of those games where the jump scare just suddenly happens and it's like really loud and obnoxious. Oh, something over here. Is this the burning bush? I think it might be, guys. I think this might be the burning bush. Oh, I heard a noise again. Yeah, look, somebody's been burned and their head's been bitten off. Holy crap! I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to a crisp. What the hell is going on? Oh. Alright. Let me just uh, move away from the noise. Oh, I can't. I have to move this way. I have to head this way, guys. We don't get much of a choice, unfortunately. There's something over here. It's like a light in the tree. Oh, I think I just saw the llama. I need to find the others first. Right. Cool. Uh, agreed. Also, I saw the llama's face over there, so I don't... Oh! What the heck, man? He just, like, glitched next to us. That's actually kind of scary. Where's our friends? Where are they? This went from not being scary at all to actually be being a little bit kind of freaky. Is there something over here? This looks like something I haven't seen yet. Yeah, fallen down tree. Another headless person. Is this Tasha? Oh god, Tasha! She must have twisted her leg in the tree! What the hell did this to her? Yeah, I just don't think she twisted her... Guys, look. It's there, it's, it's stepping towards us. Do I walk towards it or do I kind of... Do I edge around? Please don't attack us, please don't attack us. Oh, he's gone. Oh no, he's not, he's still there. He's teleporting, why is he teleporting? I don't get it. Do we keep an eye on him and kind of just like explore? Oh. I don't know if we meant to keep our eye on him or not. Here we go, this is the last one. I'm going to be sick. Why are there so many damn bees? Who did this to you, Ken? I have to get out of here. I need to get to the car. Right, find the car. So where would the car be? Was it like this way? We couldn't go this way before. So I'm going to just assume it's this way, maybe. Look, I can see the llama again. He's over there. You stay there, Mr. Llama. Lamu. Whatever your name may be. Come on. It, it's, it's weird because I can't figure out if he's meant to be teleporting around or if the game's kind of just bugged out a little bit. I don't know if he's meant to run towards us at some point. I don't know if it's like a predetermined thing. You know, we get to the end. Look at him there. He's just standing there now. Oh, the screen's kind of going a bit red. I think if we get too close to him, it kind of warns us with that red flicker on the screen. Right, let's go. Street light, street light, street light, street light. Is this the car? Sure looks like the car. It is the car, let's go. Let's go, guys. Go. Have we done it? Is that the game done? One and done? I feel like it is. Can we control the car? Nope, this is a cutscene. Oh no. Okay, so we got killed. Is that like the bad ending or something?
Ending one of two roadkill. Tragedy in Lamu Forest Park. Tragedy strikes in the infamous Lamu Forest Park. What was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip of four friends turned into a devastating bloodbath. Tasha Neal, 20. Ken Abel, 20. Leon Dean, 20. And Redacted were camping in the Lamu Forest Park on the night of February 19th. The young adults just graduated and were looking to have a getaway out in the wild to unwind and relax. That was when tragedy occurred. Tasha, Ken and Leon were brutally murdered and decapitated in the middle of the night, leaving Redacted to be the lone survivor of the devastating incident. The Lamu Forest Park has been infamous due to its collection of known murders to those who enter the park. Every murder victim within the park has been decapitated by unknown means, though forensics have concluded that bite marks present on the deceased bodies resemble that of human teeth. The mystery of the Lamu killer has been solved due to recent developments. Though authorities have decided to withhold the information of details about said killer, they assure the public that it will no longer cause any harm to citizens. Redacted has refused to participate in any interviews, understandably due to their traumatising experience. Our deepest condolences to the family of Tasha Neal, Ken Abel and Leon Dean. The public may rest easy knowing the Lamu killer has been apprehended. Hmm, did we just survive and did the Lamu creature get knocked down by the car? Was it like a half human, half llama creature? I don't know guys, it's very strange. I'll have to have a look into it. I might do like a little mini story explain video for this because it was quite a fun game. Dig into the secrets. I reckon we go for ending two of two now though. This was going to be a short video otherwise. I've been playing for about 15 minutes or so. I think maybe this time if we get caught we might get a different ending. Because we got I think the best ending where we escaped right? But anyway I'll run through it again quickly and I'll see basically what happens if we get caught by the llama. See if that triggers a different ending. Okay guys, so this time in this section before we go into like the sort of next phase where we're trying to escape Lamu, I'm actually going to explore a bit and just see if there's anything we've missed that we can do in this area that would trigger like a different kind of ending for us. So I don't know if I fully explored this before. Let's go and see if a car is there like currently. Because the car's like right over here, isn't it? Yeah, look, it actually is still here. And we can smash it. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wait, so if we smash it now, does this mean that we can't escape in the next phase though? That's probably what happens, right? And then Lamu will like be able to eat our character. Oh, great. So I figure like what we'll do is just complete the rest of this section now. And then we can see if that changes anything in the second section. So I'm going to cut ahead guys to when I find the car. If anything changes aside from the car, I'll uh, include it in the video. Okay guys, so we're on the end section again, and the Lamu is there, we just need to get to the car without him like attacking us, because I feel like we need to trigger that car for cutscene, you know, to get the different ending. So I'm going to try not to die. He's kind of guarding all the death sites, you know, he's by the burning bush now. You just stay there, Lamu. There's the street light, that's where we parked a car. Is the car different now though? Yeah, look, it's busted. It's all like busted up. There's smoke coming out of it. Because the Lamu's attacked it. The car's busted. Who the hell is doing this? Oh my god. I just turned around and was <laughs> the Lamu was there. Ending two of two full course meal. So that ending's kind of like a lame ending. We kind of got the good ending to start with, even though I thought it might have been a bad ending. And the full course meal ending is kind of like the naff ending that you get if you destroy the car by accident. But yeah, that was an interesting game. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. I usually kind of follow your recommendations where I can. And as I've been away on holiday and I saw this game, you know, was popping off on YouTube, you guys were saying, play it, play it. I was like, all right, I'll give it a go. And as usual, I like these little indie fun horror games, you know, these small bite-sized horror experiences. I do find them fun, I find them quite charming, and maybe I'll dip into this, we'll do a little story explain video for this, it could be a fun, quick story explain to do, but I kind of feel like the story is pretty uh, self-explanatory for this one. Unless we dip into the lore of the, uh, the Lamu character, I don't know. 
Either way, guys, thank you for watching my playthrough today. Let's go back to the menu. Yeah, this was Hungry Lamu. I'll leave a link below. So if you want to go and check it out for yourselves, as always, there will be a link provided. And with that said, I'm going to head off now. So thanks for watching my video today. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.